Hi, this is Angela Taylor with Taylor Homestead Soap. So today I'm going to show all of you how to make cookie cutter soap. So we're in that kind of holiday lull. It's the day after Christmas and you've got this lull now between Christmas and New Year's, right? And your kids can't go outside and work off all of their energy and you're pulling your hair out a little bit because, well, the kids are a little nuts like mine are. So what I'm going to show you how to do today is called cookie cutter soap. And what you do with cookie cutter soap is you take some mountain pour soap. I use um, low sweat mountain pour soap. You put it out on a cookie, on a sheet, wax paper sheet, and then you use a cookie cutter. In my case, I used a star. You can use any size, any shape. And then there's a little bit of twist to this cookie cutter soap because it's a two-tone soap. So keep watching so you can see the twists that I put into the cookie cutter soap. So the interesting thing, I did not come up with this. I can't claim this idea. It's something that I saw way back and thought, I'm gonna try that with my own kids and I'm gonna take myself doing it. So please enjoy this video. If you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel, give me a big thumbs up and leave a comment below. Also, whatever that you make, if you use this and you've decided that you're gonna do this with your kids, would you please do a picture of it and put it in the comment section below so I can see your soapy creation that you made with your kids. Appreciate it. Thank you. Have a good holiday season. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy Hanukkah. All those wonderful holiday um, celebrations that you're all having right now. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Bye. So we're going to practice today making some cookie cutter soap. So this is the day after Christmas, and instead of making, we made sugar cookies yesterday, didn't we, kiddos? Yay! And so today we're gonna make some cookie cutter soap. So I've got this, and I've got some mountain pour soap, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put just a little bit of this red, red colorant. It's okay. And you just add until you like the color. Can you get that cake? Can you see in the? <laughs> See, now it's kind of pink. Yes, I can see in there. And now it's getting redder. We have our little helper today, Eli. Eli is our little helper today, aren't you? Eli, Taylor's our helper. Yep, I'm the taper. Eli's the helper. No way, who's way? Look at that. <laughs> nice and red. Is that red enough, you think? I no. think so. No. A little redder? <laughs> Put. Yeah, we should show... Here, we'll do this, and then we'll show Eli's version of cookie dyeing. Yeah. Let's show can... Eli's version of cookie dyeing. All right, so then what we're going to do is we're going to pour this onto this. This is just a baking sheet with wax paper. So you're just going to dump it on here. What are you doing, And let it Eli? set up, move out of the Eli, way. Eli, out. Out okay. of the way, please. Thank you. All right, so what we're going to do is we just pour this on here like you would. Cookie dough. Yes. The cookie we're using, the cookie dough. All right, so the cookie. Eli's version of cookie making. Yeah, this is Eli's version of cookie dough coloring. So this is what 25 pounds of mountain pour soap looks like. I got this from Bulk Apothecary. This is should be low sweat mountain pour soap. The last time I bought this, it took me about a year to use, use all of that. The whole thing. To use the whole entire thing. So what I'm doing now is I'm just cutting off a piece like this, and then I'm cutting it up into this microwave safe bowl. So I will show we you. We put it in the microwave. Do. Well, obviously. <laughs> so the first part, this red part that you see over here was about two cups. This is gonna be quite literally half of this. And we're ready. Ready? All right, so we've already started this. This has got to get to a consistency where it's not warm anymore. It's kind of well, it's, it's, it's not all the way set up, but it's not, and it's rubbery. So Eli now, he is my trusted assistant. He? And he's going to start cutting pieces out oh, like this. this. Yep. So what you do is you push all, and you gotta get all the edges. You gotta get all the edges going on. Okay, that's enough. Okay. So now what you do is you pick it up. And you pull, we go. Yep, and we pull that piece out. Okay, look at that. It's All a right. full start. It is.
All right. So I have mixed, this is Brambleberries. Wow, it's really loved. It's um, Gold Sparkle Mica. And this is beautiful when in Melt and Pour Soap. So I'm and just don't gonna... forget, I'm Mommy's Little Helper. Yes, we know, Eli. You are Mommy's Little Helper. So you can see there huh? how pretty that is. All right, so here's what we do next. Ready, Kate? We pull inside the tea. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to put it inside the stars that we've already cut out. So, Except that one. No, we'll do them all of them. So then what we do is we do this. We pour it in all the little stars that we've already done. I think that's going to cut out. Kind of cut. <gasps> Turn that out. we got to fix that. Don't it's we? moving. we got one star rolling into another star. No, that's, that's no, that's no good. Oopsie! That's rolling into another. Oopsie, oopsie. It's rolling out. Yeah, all right. So here we go with this one. I don't. I think we're messing up. You think we're messing up? I don't think we're messing up. We're messing up. One star going into another star. Yeah, we're messing up. <laughs> no. Ooh, and I've got just a little bit left. The other thing about mountain pour soap is sometimes you get bubbles. So what you do is you take, this is just my spray bottle here, and it has got 99% um, rubbing alcohol in it. And this is what bursts all the bubbles on the top so you don't, so you have a nice smooth surface and you don't have bubbles in your soap. Right. That smells bad. It does. It smells like alcohol. Because that's what it is. All right, we're going to wait for this to set up. And we're no, more to, no more bubbles. No more bubbles. We're going to go on to the next. All right, so I'm going to show you what to do first, Eli, and then you can do this with me, right? So here's what you do. So you don't want to put it back over the top of them. What you want to do, without making rattles on the paper, is you put it over the top like this. So you've got a two-toned star with red and gold in it. I think that, that looks like purple and gold. It's not purple and gold. Looks like purple and gold. Look at this. Ready? What are you doing, Ma? This what? is to the point where it's almost too hard. Ooh. All right. So look at this, Katester. Over here. Cool, huh? Yeah. Oh, it's red. red. And to the right yellow at the same mm -hmm. time. Eli, you want to push this down for me? Yes. All right, go for it. All the corners. See, it's getting a little harder now, isn't it? It's time to cut these soaps. Hi. This is Mommy's helper, Eli. You see how thin the layer is. You really want these to be pretty thin layers. Oh yeah, wanna... this is hard. <laughs> And this is the final result of our cookie cutter soap. Enjoy, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like to do this with your young children, 
go ahead. I can't say that I originated this idea because I did not. I saw it someplace, probably on Pinterest. So I can't even I can't even tell you who the original person was with this. So enjoy this do-it-yourself. Merry Christmas to all. Happy holidays, happy new year.